on the Archie Luxury Channel. This is live. I do live shows. Guys, I, um, I'm talking to Clive, and this is about Rudy's four-piece perfect collection. I'm not trying to blow smoke up Rudy's ass because that ain't how I cut it, but I've got this picture that was sent now, to how me. Much extra, how much extra would you charge to blow s smoke up someone's arse on a collection? Oh, right? it's easy. hundred bucks. hundred bucks. hundred okay. bucks. hundred bucks. hundred bucks. Um, now, I've got to tell you, this picture, I'm not just, I just, this picture, I, I, I've been stuck on, okay? I have really been stuck because I couldn't move forward. I can't move forward. Does that make sense? No. I it can't move forward, Clive. Okay. Try oiling your chair. Thank you. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, Clive. I've fallen in love. Okay. I think this might be the perfect four piece white metal collection. Okay. Okay. This is for the super, super, the super rich, Clive. You know what I'm saying or not? Yes, I understand by what's meant by the term super rich. Okay. Something I'm not, okay? Let's call up a picture. I want you to tell me if you have the same emotion to this as I do because I have fallen in love. Love! What do you think, Clive? Uh, Patek Philippe Calatrava on the left? Yep. Patek Philippe Nautilus on the uh, second from the left? Yep. Okay, the Royal Oak. Oh, I, I kind of like the blue on the uh, yeah. middle, yeah, right? And then the. Is. Yeah, it's a nice collection, actually. Now, this is just part of his collection, but. I just wanted, I'm not really doing this review for him. This is just, I fell in love with this picture. Do you understand why I would fall in love with this sort of picture? Yeah, it does have a nice balance and nice symmetry to it. Yes. Um, I think that could be the perfect collection forever. That's all I'd ever need. Do you understand? Yeah, actually, it, it, I think it checks enough box, boxes. It ticks enough boxes for life. That's all you'd ever need because if you were, um, if you were really, really filthy, loaded, stinking rich, this is all you'd ever need because this covers all your bases. You've got the five two nine six. That's the white metal Calatrava, right? That's your dress watch. Right. White gold, opaque dial, beautiful. That's You'd yeah. use that when you're meeting the queen, when you're getting your knighthood, when you're becoming a... a um, when you are getting a Grammy or an Emmy. Okay. The next piece there, the uh, Nautilus, this is the sort of watch you wear when you're on your $10 million boat. Lake Geneva, Lake Como, does that ring a bell? i yes. never been there. i never been there. But that's the sort of thing you would wear. Audemars Pig 8. Now, this is not just a 100 or a 15300. This is a 15202. This is the boutique edition. This is, this is what the meaning of life is. This is the meaning of life. I have actually fallen. I've fallen in love badly for this piece, Clive. Mm -hmm. uh, very, very, and we're going to actually bring up a better picture than this one I've got. Just, just bear with me, guys. I'm just going to stop that. I've got, I've got a, actually a better picture. This is how extreme my lust has become for this here. This is my lust 
four. That's not the one. I believe that's the same one. I believe it is. No, that's the low res one. I've got a high res one for you, Clive. Here we go. That's high res. That's high res. Okay, Clive. Um, I've fallen in love with these pieces. Can you understand? This is the perfect four piece collection. What more do you need? Do, do you understand? Two Patex, an AP, and a Reverso. What a collection. And the Nautilus is technically a diver, I think, right? Rich people don't normally get wet. I believe when you're worth over $50 million, you no longer need to take a shit. Okay? Okay. You no longer need to use a urinal. Okay? <clears throat> You, so, and once you, you, so you, you get full-on Kim Jong-un status at $50 million. Yeah, $50 million. You no longer need to take a shit. You, you actually secrete little pellets at night, okay? Mm. And um, so you normally don't get wet. You normally don't get wet there. Um, it's, it's very, very um, – it's a very interesting thing. Um, it's very interesting. What do you think, Clive, of the uh, the AP itself there? That's just not an ordinary AP. It's got no second hand, and it doesn't have a screw-in crown. Hmm. Well, yeah. I mean, the aesthetics of the watch, you have to like the watch. I, I'm, I'm a fan for <clears throat> I'm a sucker for blue, obviously. Yeah, it is. And, um, He's got two blue dials, two blue dials. And uh, then if we want a bit of bit of fun we've got the triple date reverso I think this for a super rich person could be all you ever really need you know this well I'm, t you're, I'm almost tempted to go into this just the usual analytics saying well there's not really a diver there's not really a GMT but on the other hand no, but you don't understand when you're in this league here you don't need to you don't need a GMT people do things by your time the world revolves around you do you understand but on the other hand if you're that obscenely which rich do you need really need a watch I mean Hitler always, never... now let's have a look at this Hitler gave Lange's out did you know that right but he never really uh, he may have had a pocket watch briefly but um, his favorite thing to do is to ask what time it is and act like he's going to post pocket. No, no, just hang on a minute, Clive. Hitler was also a vegetarian, right? Yes, he was. But you don't and see you know what? You... that is the favorite thing. If you know someone that's a lib <laughs> social justice warrior, libtard, uh, uh, vegetarian, yes. yeah, liberal, uh, feminist, yes, yeah, yes. you tell them if you tell them the, who the world's most famous vegetarian is, and you tell them Hitler, watch them squirm. Yes. God, I love to do that. Now, I, I got to tell you, um, he, 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 that that really has no bearing. I mean, that's like me saying, um, you know, did Stalin have this? These are not role models. Hitler was never a role model. I hope he didn't have a watch. He was an evil, evil man who nearly destroyed the world. But he was also the practical equivalent of a billionaire with a lot of power. So, I mean, my my point is, is that do the really rich people really need to have, really need to know what time it is, or can they just have someone tell them whose job description involves telling them the time? Uh, okay. and I, I like the, now, I like let's the, look at this watch here. I want to look at this watch. We're talking about the Reverso before. This is the Reverso triple date. Now, you were questioning whether these are such a good investment. Right. These are about, these Reverso triple dates here are about, I think they're about 12,000 US dollars. Brand new. And I, I really think they are amazing. I think that's a, Amazing piece. Why would I be guilty about recommending one of these here? They certainly want to get it used, however. 
Yeah, the, I mean, it's a nice watch. I do like, I like the uh, date the date complication. The only thing is, I'm not wild about the moon face. You're not wild about the moon phase? Right. Um, to me, it just seems like taking up a lot of dial for a complication that has little to no use. Just because something can be done doesn't mean it ought to be done. Ooh, that's a that's a little bit nasty, Clive. No, it's just staying a personal preference. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's a nice watch. I'd love to have it. Um, on the other hand, if someone offered me a grand date, I'd really have to think twice. About, I mean, twink, think twice between the two. Pa even a power reserve would be more useful than a moon face, but it's a nice watch. I can kind I can kind of see why people why some people really do like the reversos. I kind of like the uh, the old world charm of it. Like the, it's it's almost like something. It's something like you could imagine your grandfather or great grandfather. Now, I, I want to say I want to say this century, in the last century, in will to you if they had class and shit. Yes, I I gotta say this in all honesty, right? You were saying that reversos have plummeted, right? A friend of mine bought one for seven, okay? Right. He wanted to buy a Lange, so he's thinking about selling it. The dealer offered him four US on it. Right? Obscene. Another Obscene. dealer offered him five. But I want to show you something. Jump on to... Jump onto Chrono 24. Let's. I'm going to bring it up, Clive. I'm going to bring this up now because I, I, I'm just sick of this. This being this myth being per. per here we go. Here is myth? Chrono. This what is, is a, a myth? myth? A myth, myth being perpetrated on my program here. A falsehood. A lie. A figment of someone's imagination. Now look at this. The a cheapest, myth. A figment. A look at this, Clive. A calendar. This is the Jaguar Culture Grand Reverso calendar. The cheapest in U.S. dollars is nearly nine thousand. Where are they for four thousand? Now the dealer may steal them from you at four, but that doesn't mean they're going for four. You can't buy one for four or five or six or seven. Do you do you understand what I'm saying? Um, pull up the two tone. Um no, never mind. Let, well, let's not go there. Two tone what, Clive? The two tone yacht master with the blue dial. What are you saying to me? I got mine for five. They exist. And they're on Chrono Twenty Four at five. New, 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 new. People will sell things when they're desperate. Okay. Now, the difference is a reverso seller may not sell it. At, he, he won't sell it. He'll say, no, I'm not going to sell it at that price. I'm keeping it. Therefore, how's that different from the boutique watch? Please the explain. The reverso, the, 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 the reverso has a lot more coverage. It's, it's known within the industry. This is something that people in the know. A reverso is a great watch, okay? So Even... So a lot of people know about the reverso. Yeah, and it's it's it's. A, I think it's something that will always sell, but the dealers will try and rip you off. De watch dealers are not necessarily nice people. Hmm. Well, what yep. I'm okay. So I'm saying to you that calendar watch is absolutely to die for, right? Right. The AP. Okay, so so let's put this four piece collection together, right? So, so, so the JLC. What can we get one for? We'll, we'll put down nine thousand US. Okay, nine. Well, let me, we'll get let's one. Back right? up. Let, let me back the truck up for a second, if you don't mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is there a story behind? Is there a story behind the collection? Is there philosophy? Is there a philosophy behind the pieces that were acquired, and why? Do the watches signify significant events? Well, okay. Let's have a look at that in a minute. But let's just see how much this collection would cost to replicate if we went on to the used market uh 15202 let's have a look let's have a look clive let's go and have a look 
Let's have a look here, Clive. Okay, it's for, for a 15202. Okay, it's going to cost us, they're actually quite expensive. They're about, so there we go, 18,000. That's Malaysia, Italy, 20. Uh, I'd say 20,000. 20,000, okay? 20,000, okay? The other watch he's got there. What else has he got? He's got the Patek. Let's have a look at this and show you something. A Patek 5711. Whoops, what the hell did I put there? 5711. There we go. Okay, these are very, very much in demand at the moment. Very, very hard to get hold of. The white dial blue one started oh it's in russia can you believe Sorry. how expensive the blue dial ones are 30 30 33. well it's kind of it's 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 kind of like rolex because you know uh, basically yeah. the same watches but just the minor variations uh, can 34 34 and then the final one is is a five two nine six right five two nine six this is the classic Calatrava. I don't really like the rail, the sector sort of dial. I prefer the traditional one. Right. And that's going to cost you 19. 19. So I just want to look at this, this collection here. And just, I, I want to talk about it. So this collection, Clive, these pieces Bring. here, it, it is going to cost you 19 plus 34 plus 20 plus 9, 82 US. I think that is a perfect collection in four pieces. Opinion, Clive. I want opinion piece now. Opinion. What do you think? Well, like I said, I'm just wondering, why why the uh, AP and the Patek when they look so close to each other? What's, what's the reason for that? Because I... Because he can. Okay. Well, obviously he can because he did. But why did he? Why did he? Yeah. What, he did he have a clutch and rule? Did he have a philosophy? Did he have a guideline to go by? One, you know, like for instance, one one from each brand. No, he just bought the greatest watches of all time. I think those are probably that collection is just. Amazing. Is watching, well, wouldn't the wouldn't your Patek World Time be better than Amir Calatrava if he's going to get the best watches of all time, or is he saying the the icons of the brand? Uh, that's a very good question, Clive. Um, I think the Calatrava. I got to be honest with you; it just pops. This photo is a photo I looked at and said, "Geez, that's it. I could do that forever." But would there be anything wrong with erasing the Calatrava and putting in the World Time? It'd have to be a white gold world time. Okay. And it'd probably have to be a slightly bigger one. Sort of the 37 mil, we'd probably go for the 5130, slightly bigger, 39 and a half mil. This is all current model stuff too. Did you notice that? Yeah, I did. But th that's why I was wondering about the reasons for it because... He's just you know, rich. He goes in there with his with his his wheelbarrow of cash and says this, 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 this is supposed to show his style and talent. This is, I just think that for that picture, that one photo, those four pieces. What do you that's think of that? That picture just says that's all you'd ever need in life. I think you could stop after that. What do you think? But you already said he has other pieces available. So, I know, no. so it's just this photo just, just stopped me in my tracks. I just was stopped by the beauty. I just stopped. I thought, oh, I don't need anything ever again if you own those four. I'd get another, I mean, so he's already got two Pateks, and the Patek and the Audemars Piguet are really close to each other. I mean, that's the only, that's the only thing I would have to say. And unless unless I, if, if he said, I'm going to collect the icons from each brand, then I could understand that. But otherwise. I mean, it's just a rich, super rich person's collection. What do you, I think it's amazing. That photo, I could look at that for hours. Okay. But why did he choose those watches over other ones? 
Because he can. Not, yes. I but mean, why? put it this way. I think there's a certain amount of aesthetics to it. I actually told him to get the rose gold one, but I, I, looking at this picture, I've just fallen in love with it. Well, and I could see and that would be an unstated collection rule. In other words, you know, white metals. I could see that. And, yeah. Yeah. Do you want to see his other collection? His other what? What else is in this collection? Do you want to see that? Do you? Yeah, actually, I do. Okay, can you see that on the screen now? Right. That's those two again. Right. He reads the Daily Mail. It, the Daily Mail, Governor. So he's older. But uh, I think so. He's, he's, got a, he's also he's got, got a blank cross. pane. He's got a blank okay. pane. Fifty fathoms. Let's have a look. Okay, well, here's, here's some... Speaking speaking of the devil, look at this. He's got a blue dial, Yachtmeister. Okay. I don't know why he got a Cartier. That's a bit... Ooh, I must well, eat. that's what I was wondering about. That's even what I, I was kind of wondering. Even I do question that. That is far too much money. That's just... Uh, there you go. It's, it's on the piano. It would have been nice. It's a synthesizer. It would have been nice on a proper piano, not a... Not an electronic piano. That's the reverso. That's my reverso. Someone did a picture of it. Isn't that beautiful? Uh, sure. Here we go. How's this for a picture? He's also got some AP Royal Oak offshore chronographs there. You can see those in the box. He's got a 50 fathoms. Uh, and what's this other thing here? I, don't, I can't quite. Still got plastic on it, looks like. Yeah, he kind of, he doesn't like people touching his stuff. They've all got plastic a little bit on them there. He's trying to lock in that newness. Do you like the blank pane? Yeah, I think it's interesting that he keeps showing it on top of a, uh, a newspaper. crossword puzzle. Yes. One that's not filled out. Pad X. Here's, what do you think of that? A rose gold chronograph. Okay. Nice. That's that picture again. I just love that picture. I can't go past it, Clive. I'm, I'm stuck there. I'm stuck. That's the most beautiful four-piece mini collection I've ever seen in my life. So as far as you're concerned, he could probably just get rid of the other ones and keep those four, and he'd be you know, done and That's done. That's it. Done and dusted. What do you think? Yeah, I think Dodger Lane did a really nice job. Dodger Lane? What's Dodger Lane? I don't understand. He's the guy that always gets on the comments whenever there's a Rudy piece, but doesn't get on any other pieces or any other oh, segments. Okay. That's okay. Yeah, Rudy, we know it's you. Seriously, quit screwing around. It is cool, but don't you agree? It is a cool yeah, collection. Is. I mean, I mean, yeah, I, right. you don't even have to like Rudy, okay? He's he's a little bit egotistical at times, okay? That's okay. That doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I mean, his watches are amazing, don't you think, or not? Those those are nice yeah, those are nice watches. I would, would you have an industrial accident with an electric saw to get that four-piece cut? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Okay. Would you have a would you lose a small toe for those four? No. What would you be prepared to lose? Thirty kilos. Oh yeah, the joke. That the joke. The joke. I'm losing, it's a I'm joke. Losing, I'm already losing dignity being here, but yes. So isn't that enough? Do you, um, do, you, do you think what do you think of this collection? Seriously, I think this is outstanding. This is the most beautiful collection. Those four pieces have stopped me. I could, I've looked at this photo for 30 minutes yesterday. I couldn't do anything. It is a nice collection, but on the other hand, the fact that he has the other pieces, why is are these his four, four favorites, or do we not do we not know why? Or no, I just think they're just so perfect. It's just this is this is who I am. That 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 is who I am. Oh. Um. Speaking of someone who's not a tosser, speaking yes. of someone who does have massive respect us. Yes. So go hard. Look, yes. Yeah, that's a nice collection. I love it. I've 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 never this is this is a collection that just pops. This four piece collection pops. 
Well, you know, it's just like I'm, why not? I mean, I, I agree I with know. you. Why does he have two Gerald Genters? Why does he have just why, a basic? Why not, why not get an, an IWC or something like that? An in manure, another Gerald Genter design. I mean, I, don't, I mean, I'm I don't confused. think it. I think the Reverso he... is perfect. I think the Calatrava is perfect. Well, maybe you could have it as a three piece just with the AP paddock, AP, and Reverso. What do you think of that? Yes. And what Absolutely. else would we throw in there? Some Rolex, a Divers. Oh, I don't even think it needs a Rolex. No, I don't think. It... No, I don't think so. Maybe um, you know he's already got one Patek, so. It is beautiful, don't you think? If I, this is the now, four pieces I wish now, does, I could. Does the fact that he has a Cartier kind of, uh, kind of lower your opinion of his uh, horological skills just a little bit? I got to be honest with you. That Cartier he has, I have as much respect for that Cartier as that stupid German thing you wear. Okay. okay. Please be more specific. Okay, I hate it. He should get okay. rid of that Cartier, okay? Uh, my Divas? The Cartier, no, I like, I, not the Divas. Like the, the Cartier, he should get rid of it. Right, okay. I don't know why see, he has it. But and that's why, see, that's another duplication. I can, because to me, it, I could, okay, I can understand some people being Cartier because it almost has a similar style it's it's like a lesser version of the reverso. Yeah, I got to tell you, Clive. I fell in love with these like four your... pieces. I've fallen in love with these four pieces. That's all I'd ever need in life. Boom, 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 boom. That's all I would ever need. That's all I would ever need for the rest of my life. Do you understand that? Mm -hmm. Well, Holdworth three 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 had a good idea. You think a sky dweller? Rolex is too tacky to include. <laughs> I'm sorry. What do you think? Is Rolex too tacky? I'm trying to think if it would fit in well or not. No, um, no. Anyhow, I just wanted to show you that this is the most beautiful four-piece collection. It doesn't need to be balanced. It can have two two paddocks. It's not the point. You look at this and just I'd never you'd never you may you you never need to have another watch again. These four is it. This is the meaning of life. This is the meaning of life, these four. Well, yeah. No, I well, I was just thinking it's interesting. He has a block plane. I mean, a fifty fathoms, but not a submariner. He's anti Rolex now. Okay. Okay. All right. He went through a very anti Rolex phase. Okay, that's kind of yeah. All right. Well, that happens when you collect. I've done the same thing. He'll eventually come back once he starts servicing these in a couple years' time. He'll come back to Rolex. Okay. Okay. Then that makes sense. I yeah. understand that yeah. for a lot of people, that's the natural yeah. progression of things. But um, yeah, I, I just think nice. this is the most beautiful collection I've ever seen in my life. So you think, yeah. So you think if uh, the house was on fire or something, he, if he just ran in, grabbed these four watches, those would be. If he only grabbed four watches out of his collection, it should yeah. be those four. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I, exactly. I would actually agree. Clive, let's wrap this up there. Remember, guys, like, subscribe, and tell your friends. And don't forget, sponsor me on Patreon. I need to survive. I need to buy food. I need to pay bills. What? Is it? Is it too late for someone to get a bit part in the Archie Luxury movie? It's never too late. We can put it in. We can put it in. And if someone wants to be listed as a patron of the movie, how would they do that? They would simply, they would simply, they could simply, they would simply email me $20, their name is added to the list. 
five bucks the name can be added, twenty dollars with a title and a picture. Okay. Fisters, you know you have your assignment. I've okay. I, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm okay, guys, on the board. Okay. Count I mean, okay, uh, animal Muppets, Muppets, we know what we have to do. And I'm going to smoke you guys like a cheap cigar. Cheap cigarette. Right. Okay, Clive, let's wrap this baby up. That might be enough for today. What do you reckon, Clive? Yeah, I think so. Okay, Clive, let me wrap this baby up now. Thank you so much. And uh, we'll chat again.